Hey guys, it's Fraser here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install PHP MyAdmin on your Windows 10 computer so that you can generate queries in interactive databases. So if you could leave a like on this video, that would help a lot. And let's get straight into the video. Okay, so in order to run PHP MyAdmin, you'll need an Apache and MySQL server. So we're going to install the XAMPP software because this has it all included. Um, so what you want to do is just go to download and download for your operating system. Now I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click XAMPP for Windows. And it will just start downloading. And so I'll see you when it's finished. Okay, so what you want to do is go to your downloads folder and then just double click on the installer. And this will start the installer, so it's just coming up now. And if you get this error message, it's just because you've got the user account control on your uh, computer. So I ha I'll have a link to a video where I tell you uh, how you can deactivate UAC with MS Config. Um, so I are I've already done that, so I can just ignore this error message. So I'm just going to click OK. And then that brings up the installer here. So I'm just going to click Next. And then I'm just going to select all of the components. Obviously, if you don't want something on your... Uh, computer then you can just uh, uncheck it so I'm just gonna uh, in fact leave them all as normal and we're just gonna click next and then the installation folder I'm just gonna leave that at the root of my C, uh, C drive so I'm just gonna click next again and then I don't want the extra bitnami uh, installers so I'm just gonna uncheck that and click next again and then now it's going to uh, install to a computer so I'm just gonna click next and then I will see you once it has finished installing. Okay, so now that the installer has finished, uh, we just want to start the XAMPP control panel. And we want to choose our language. I'm going to choose English. And there, now we have XAMPP installed on our computer. Okay, so now that we are in the XAMPP control panel, what we want to do to uh, launch PHP MyAdmin is just start the Apache web server and start the MySQL server. And now that they are both started, we're just going to go to the admin tab on MySQL and this will take us to the PHP MyAdmin page. So you can see here we are at localhost uh, slash PHP MyAdmin. And to show you that this is working, let's just go and create a database. So we're going to create a database and let's just call it example. And if we run this, then as you can see, uh, the MISQL result ran and we have this new example database. So that is how you install XAMPP on your computer and uh, use PHP MyAdmin. So if you could leave a like in the video, that would help a lot. Thanks for watching and bye bye.